Welcome to A Level and AP Physics, a place where you can improve your understanding of physics with confidence. In today's class, we will discuss a typical problem on stress strain from Cambridge ES Physics. And this question is from June 2020. For this question, it is given to us that a simplified model of a building with four identical heavy floors. Identical heavy floors simply means that each floor has the same weight so we can write down here each floor has the same weight and let's say the weight of each floor is equal to w we can also write here w means this is the weight of each floor next it is given to us that the spacing of the bottom floor bottom floor means this floor this is our bottom floor spacing of this bottom floor from the ground is twice that of the spacing between the floors means this spacing between the floors this is the spacing between floors let's say this spacing is equal to x and the spacing between the bottom floor and the ground this is twice so it simply means this is equal to 2x next it is given to us that between each floor are equal numbers of vertical steel sporting rods of negligible mass as compared with the floors means the mass of the rods we can consider is negligible or we can simply say is very very small as compared with the mass of each floor next it is given to us that the rods are of different diameters but stress in each rod is the same very important point stress is same so i will write down here stress in each rod this is same so stress is same question is asking us to find the ratio between diameter of bottom rods and diameter of top rods but it is given to us that there are equal numbers of vertical steel sporting rods mean there are equal number of rods let's say the diameter of bottom rods these rods the diameter is equal to db and let's say the diameter of top rods is equal to dt now in question it is given to us that stress in each rod is the same so this is the main concept we need to answer this problem first of all let's try to understand what is stress stress simply is equal to force over cross-sectional area now let's say we have one rod for example this is hanging here this is the rod and cross-sectional area of this one let's say is a and if i apply force f on this rod then stress simply is equal to f over a but for this question it is given to us that the stress in the top rods and stress in the bottom rods is the same so simply we can write down here stress in the top rods and bottom rods is the same so we can write down the formula for top rods and for bottom rods so for the top rods stress is equal to f over a and for the bottom rods stress is also equal to f over a but the force here this is the force acting on the top rod and this is the force acting on the bottom rod and this will be the cross-sectional area of top rods and this will be the cross-sectional area of bottom rods now if you look at the top rod this top rod is only supporting one floor and the weight of one floor is equal to w so it simply means that the force acting on top rods is equal to w so i can simply write down this is w and cross-sectional area of top rods we can also write down this is pi by 4 dt square we can write down dt square and if we look at the bottom rod bottom rod is sporting four times w i mean this is sporting four floors one two three and four floors and the weight of each floor is w so we can write down here four times w and the cross-sectional area we can also write down in terms of diameter so we can say d by pi by four d b square 
that's all what you need to do now simply we need to cancel and we can find our final answer now as you can see here w is common here so we can cancel pi by 4 is common we can also cancel now if we simplify this we have got dt square means simply let me write on db square is equal to 4 times of dt square so this is dt square but the question is asking here the ratio between db by dt so we can write down here so this is db by dt db by dt and this is equal to square root of 4 so our final answer is 2 so the ratio between diameter of bottom rods and top rods this is equal to 2 so this is our final answer this is our final answer